I've been testing a method to use free offline backcountry maps using Avenza Maps. If you watched any of my recent Winter High Peaks videos, you've seen me referring back to my phone and Avenza Maps to find my location. I'm going to show you how to make those maps and use them in the backcountry with Avenza Maps. I'm Mike and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside, and if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you find value in this video, be sure to click that like button. Avenza Maps is a different kind of mapping app, different than Gaia GPS or Onyx. If you haven't watched my intro video on Avenza Maps, check that out in the description. Unlike Gaia or Onyx, Avenza doesn't come with any base maps. You can download them for offline usage through their marketplace. I use the freely available USGS maps. There's also several other free maps from state parks and national parks, plus some maps that you can buy like the Nat Geo ones. The real power of Avenza maps is that you can load your own maps and routes for offline usage. Usually you need to create these maps using GIS software, but we're all not GIS experts. So I'm gonna show you a free and easy way using CalTopo to create that geospatial PDF and load that custom map right into Avenza. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our map, our route, and then export it or print it as a geospatial PDF to be used in Avenza maps. So what we're gonna do is hop into CalTopo. So if you haven't seen my CalTopo tutorial, I'll link it below in the description. Go to caltopo.com and you're going to want to create an account so you can save your maps. Click start mapping and that brings us to our mapping interface and I'm going to select the TF Outdoors base map. There's several base maps included in Caltopo but TF Outdoors is a, kind of like an open street maps for the outdoors. TF stands for Thunder Forest. They do a really good job and the, the maps are really good. As you can see, they have all of the Adirondack trails and it's a pretty good topo map. So I like using that in CalTopo since they've added it. So what we're gonna actually do is create a line for our route. And our campsite was Johns Brook Lodge, which is kind of in this area right here. So as you can see, because I have Snap2 OSM selected up here, which is open street maps, as I mouse over the trails, they kind of become highlighted. So we're gonna start at Johns Brook Lodge and snap the trail out to, we went to Little Haystack and Mount Haystack. Then we're gonna snap over to Basin, over to Saddleback, and then all the way back to camp. So now we have our route and we can add other stuff to the map and that will uh, enhance the map and come over when we do the geospatial PDF. It'll also come over when we build out those layers. So let's just add a couple markers. Um, we don't have to do this, but if you wanna do this, we could just put uh, Saddleback Mountain right there and say, okay, maybe we'll put uh, the other mountains just so we have, you know, a. a waypoint that we can make a different color or something and we'll add haystack we have all of our points we have our route and i forgot to name it so i'm just going to click the edit button and name it real quick and we're going to call this haystack basin saddleback and click ok so now we have our map now what we need to do is export that as a geospatial PDF. And to do that, it's actually the, within the print function. So we're gonna print to PDF and it brings up a new tab. And let's just mouth, zoom out just a little bit. And we're just gonna drag our map. I'm gonna make this into landscape because I like, always like that better and you can make it whatever scale you want. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna make sure the whole route is enclosed in the map, and it's a one to 50 scale. Uh, you can look at these options depending on what you want, and they'll all come over when you print the PDF. 
So I'm just gonna generate this PDF now and it'll open up another tab. And now it generated a PDF. You can print this if you'd like, which I suggest always having a paper map with you. I'm gonna just point out a couple things here. It has a QR code in the bottom of the map, which we can use in Avenza to actually import it. There's also a URL. You can also use the URL. I find the QR code to be pretty simple. So now I'm gonna hop into Avenza and actually import that geospatial PDF from Caltapo over into Avenza. So when you launch Avenza, you're in the My Maps tab, and you can see I don't have any maps loaded. The free version of Avenza allows you to have three of their marketplace maps and three of your own custom maps loaded. If you need more than that, you're gonna to have to pay for the subscription service. What I typically do is I load all the maps for the trip that I'm going on, and then when I go on the next trip, I'll delete those and put new maps on there. To add that geospatial PDF, you're gonna click this plus button at the top of the My Maps screen. And you can see there's many different ways you can import that map. The last option is to use a URL, which you could certainly use that URL on the Caltapo PDF. But like I said, it's easier to do the QR code. So I'm just gonna click the QR code button in the upper right, and it'll bring up your camera. And then you can just point it at your computer screen and scan that QR code, and that map is gonna load automatically into Avenza. And now we have a geospatial PDF in Avenza. If we were actually at this location, you would see a blue dot at your location. On this screen in the bottom left, you click the arrow and that will refresh your GPS location. If you click that arrow a second time, it'll actually orient you based on the compass in your phone and you'll see a little arrow at the top of that. Just that geospatial PDF from Caltapo, in a lot of cases is gonna be adequate for most travel. However, what I found is really helpful is taking my route, making it a layer in Avenza, and then using USGS maps, which are super high resolution in Avenza maps, to overlay that route. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're gonna hop back into Caltapo, and I'm gonna switch over to the main screen. And there is this import and export option. And we can export the points and the lines either as a GPX file or KML. Avenza will actually use both. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just download the KML file and I'm gonna select all of the points and all of the lines, and I'm gonna click Export. And that's gonna go over to my Downloads folder. So now that we have that file downloaded, I found the easiest way to get it into Avenza is to put it in some sort of cloud storage. I use Dropbox, so I'm gonna just drop that KML directly into my Dropbox, and I'm gonna go back to the main screen and this time, instead of adding it as a map, I'm gonna add layers. And you can see I do not have any layers loaded, so I'm gonna hit plus. And when you import layers, it's gonna want you to link it to a map. So let's go get a map that we think is the location of Johns Brook Lodge, and we'll link that map at the same time that we import that layer. So I'm gonna click over to the store and you can search by a bunch of different things. And I'm gonna just search by Johns Brook Lodge and grab the USGS map that corresponds to that. It's the first one that comes up, it's Keene Valley. So I'm gonna download this. And as we're creating these maps, the USGS quad quadrangles are fixed. So it's possible your route may span multiple quadrangles, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, download the correct maps for that. So I'm gonna just open this USGS map right from here in Avenza, and you can see at the bottom of the map, it has all of the adjacent USGS maps. So after we import this layer, it's possible that we might have to go grab a couple of these other maps, so we'll take a look at that. So I'm gonna go back into Avenza, and I'm gonna go into layers. I'm gonna click add. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to link it to my two maps. Because that layer is geospatial aware, I can link it to the Caltapo PDF and this Keene Valley PDF and whatever other quadrangles fall into that route. So I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to import layers. And here you can see the different options that you can use for importing the layers. I'm going to just select Dropbox because that's where I put my KML file, export.kml. And now I'm going to click Import. And you can see it actually created two layers. It created a layers for the lines, our route, and also the markers, those waypoints of the mountaintops that we put in there. And those are now both linked to the maps on the main screen. So if I go to the Keene Valley map, we can now see that that route is there. But here, you can tell that uh, we're going to have to grab some more quadrangles because it, it flows over into the quadrangle directly to the west and also to the southwest. So I'm going to go over to our box. And we, we're in Keene Valley, so that means I'm going to need North Elba and Marcy. So that's pretty easy to do. We're just going to switch back over, go to the store, and we're going to download the Mount Marcy one, which is the second one in our Johns Brooks search. So we'll download that one. And we'll see just in here if we have the North Elba one. We see some historical maps, a Lake Placid one, and here's North Elba. So I'm going to grab that quadrangle as well. So now those maps are loaded but those layers aren't linked to those maps. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go back to layers and I'm going to just select this layer and you can see the attributes at the bottom. We're going to edit those attributes and it says link to maps. So I'm going to click that button and now I'm going to select those Mount Marcy and North Elba quadrangles. Hit apply and we did that for the route now let's do it for our markers. And I believe we can do it right at the marker level as well. The, it's kind of like a folder. So we'll link to maps, and I'm going to link those all to the maps. Close that. And now when I go over to the maps, Keene Valley was our first map. And now we can see those markers and the route on there but it's spilling over. So let's go to the other USGS maps. Click back, and now I'm going to go over to North Elba map, and you can see now the route is on that map, and you can see how good the resolution of this topo map is. And finally, I'm going to just click over to the Mount Marcy map, which is where most of our summits are, and you can see the route now is linked to that map, and so are the points. So I find that helpful. Mo most of the time in the field, I am using the overview map of the one I created from Caltapo um, just to find out where I'm located on the map. I've clicked it many times when I was on this hike and just to figure out kind of where the trail junction might be or if I'm close to the mountaintop or close to getting back to camp. But if I was in a bind and I needed to get that higher resolution to understand where I am, those USGS maps come in handy. So using my favorite mapping tool, Caltapo, makes it really easy to produce those geospatial PDFs, which can then be imported into Avenza for offline use. And I really like the idea that you can create waypoints and routes and everything like that. Import those into Avenza and have them linked to various maps, whether it's your USGS map, a national park map, or your Caltapo map. It all works together because they're geospatially related and they all are linked in some way. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see other how-tos, gear reviews, outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside. Mm -hmm.